In your marriage, do you have disagreements, discussions, or do you verbally fight it out? I think it's safe to say for any couple, there are times you've maybe had all three. When one arises, you have a choice in how you communicate and resolve the conflict, as well as how you love one another through it. My husband and I are celebrating 30 years of marriage this month, so I'm sharing some things we've learned along the way, as well as sharing truth from God's Word that has sustained and guided us on the journey. When it came to conflict resolution, we had different experiences. I came from a home where arguments were on full display. My husband came from a home that didn't. Both experiences brought learned patterns of communication into our marriage. I'll never forget our first big disagreement. We had very different perspectives on how it went down. I remember he said, I hate it when we fight. I responded with, oh, that wasn't a fight. We realized right then and there, we were coming from very different places and we needed awareness, love, and truth to be front and center as we moved forward. We are so different. That is God's design. Not only are we uniquely created in God's image as men and women with distinct strengths, when we step into marriage, we bring some additional baggage along with us. Some of those suitcases are full of good things, others not so much. It all eventually gets unpacked. Navigating those moments over the years requires honesty, a lot of love, patience, and not giving the enemy any place within your heart or your home. That's a choice we make. Ephesians 4, 25. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. We place a high value on truth in our marriage because God calls us to put off falsehood. If we are feeling something and are tempted to hide it, we can't not talk about it. It's a red flag we do not ignore. Our emotions reveal so much and they are God-given, so we should never sweep them under the rug. That's where so many relationships begin to deteriorate. Be a safe space for your spouse to be honest about what they're feeling. Don't be selfish and make it about you. Listen to understand. Don't try to fix them, but be with them in what they're feeling. And together, take it to Jesus. It may be a light bulb moment where the Spirit reveals an area that requires repentance or forgiveness. Have you ever gone to bed angry? Sadly, I have, and it's awful. Being angry is unavoidable, but what we do with that anger is a choice. The reality is we can't hold on to it, feed it, or project it onto others without stepping closer to sin, which always moves us emotionally farther away from one another. We must face it head on with honest, humble, and open hearts. We're two image bearers of God, different by design and created to be one. It's not easy, but no matter how different we are or what baggage we may bring through life as we each draw closer to God, we draw closer to one another. That's the truth. Marriage is a beautiful gift. I thank God for mine every single day. Trust God's design and plan for yours. Celebrate your differences and choose to listen, forgive, and stay when the going gets tough. When you do, you'll be a shining display of God's love and goodness to the world. I'm Lori Klein.